Hello guys, I'm back and today I'm going to be doing a series on how to make a BMG Drive map. There are some tutorials out there, but they're kind of old now. So, it's going to be very unedited and stuff, but it's just going to be a very simple, straightforward how-to. So, what you're first going to want to do is obviously download BMG Drive. These links are in the description. And also WinRAR. 32-bit or 64-bit. I'm not going to show you how to install those because it's pretty straightforward. So once you do that, go ahead and th in this right here, there's a shortcut. That will be your mods folder. We're going to be using that a bunch. There's also a levels. And the one we want to go to right now is called it's like in your Steam apps, common BMG drive. It's like the root of your levels. You're going to want to go ahead and click on the small grid down here. Left, drag that onto your desktop and hit copy here. Go ahead and close it out. Now, go ahead and rename this file, whatever you want. I'm just going to rename it tutorial. This will be the name of your map, so make sure you like it. It'll be a pain in the butt to change later. Go ahead and click into levels. Go ahead and change anything that says small grid on it. So you want to change this right here. Just change the small grid to your level name. Change that. And you don't want to have any spaces. So you don't want to do like if you have a level called tutorial test then you don't want to put a space here you want to have a underscore no spaces and you just go ahead and do this for all this wherever you see small grid just go ahead and replace it with your level name then go ahead and click on this info Johnson file I just use Notepad++, but any text editor will work. Go ahead and open that up. Just go ahead and change all the text inside the little parentheses to your level name. You don't have to do this, but it's so you make sure you have the right level. We'll go back later and change all this to what we actually want. Go ahead and change VR to tutorial. Change this negative one to negative one. Make it one, uh, 1024 by 1024. Roads, just copy your tutorial, your level name, all over the place. Make sure you hit save. Then take your file that you have and drag it, drag it and release it onto the WinRAR. Hit OK. Go ahead and delete that file now. And you got the first part done. Go ahead. To, Go ahead and go to art. You can leave forests, go to shapes, delete this right here, delete the miscellaneous. Then you want to go to your hard root levels, go to grid map, double click that, go to levels, grid map, art, shapes, and then the buildings file is what we want. So if you go ahead and take this buildings file, drag it, it will copy it over to your tutorial or whatever your level name is. Go ahead and close out of that other one. Go into the buildings file on your tutorial. Go to the materials.cs. Now this CS file is where it hard roots all your textures. Now it the diffuse map is just telling what your texture goes to. And we're going to be doing this a lot, so all you do is you double click on the grid map, hit control F, hit replace, and then type in your the name of your level just the same as you've been doing all the other ones. Hit replace all. Go ahead and hit save. Drag this file into this little box here. Go ahead and delete that and now your shapes are done go to terrains make sure that you change the small grid right here 
do the same thing, replace all, hit save, drag it over, delete this, and there we go. Now that all that's done, you can go ahead and exile that. You have your wins, WinRAR zip file right here. Now go to your mods folder that I told you about, slash mods. I have a different level in here right now, but this is just your mods folder, regular old mods folder. Go ahead and just drag it in there, hit X, and start up the game. Once the game loads up, then all you gotta do is hit drive, free roam. Your level will be at the very bottom. There'll be two that looks the same, but you wanna make sure it says tutorial. When you click on it once, you should see tutorial all over the place and hit play. Go ahead and let the map load. Shouldn't take very long. And your map should load up like this. Now you can drive around and stuff. It's a normal level. But what we want to do is make the camera free because right now it's stuck on the truck so hit shift and C and now you can fly around with the WASD keys go ahead and hit F11 you can still fly around but now we have a bunch of settings up here that you can mess around with we'll get to those in the next episode but for now you want to make sure that you have everything set up so go to the missions group tab right here hit the level info go ahead and expand this a little bit make sure this can save they're both checked down here that's all we want in for right now now your library this is what this is where all your uh, jumps, ramps, and stuff will sit. Go to meshes, hit art, double click on that. It'll take a, a little while to load. Shapes, buildings, and then we we'll only have one object right now. It's called ND object. Double click on that. You'll have to hit a little text box and hit OK and there's our first object this is just one very basic object and you can just place it down go ahead and hit the little rotate button so middle button and you can make a little small little ramp just like that so if we go ahead and set that now before you hit F11 again to start playing it, you want to go up to the file and save level. That makes all these solid objects. So go ahead and hit F11 now. Bring it back to this mode. Hit Control C. Hit 5 on your number pad. And now you can just go ahead and drive. And there you go. You basically made your first level. In the next level, I will show you how to import more 3D models and also sculpt the terrain. So, till next time, see ya. Bye.